Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, which is 5 raised to power x equals to 500. We take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 5 raised to power x equals to log 500. The next step, we apply the power law of logarithm. When we have log m raised to power p, this same thing as p log m. At this here, what we have becomes x log 5 equals to log 500. Then next step, divide both sides by log 5. That is, divide this side by log 5. Also, divide this side by log 5, which implies here log 5 cancelled each other. We have x equals to log 500 over log 5. The next step from here, 500 can be expressed as 5 times 100, which implies here we have x equals to log 5 times 100 over log 5. That is here, this follows the law of logarithm. When we have log a times b, this can be written as log a plus log b now this here we have x equals to log 5 plus log 100 over log 5 that is here we separate this into two fractions when we have a plus b over c i write it as a over c plus b over c that is here we have x equals to log 5 over log 5 plus log 100 over log 5 which implies here yeah, log 5 cancel each other we have one left that this x equals to 1 plus log 100 over log 5 and also from here, we can write 100 as 5 times 20, which implies this becomes x equals to 1 plus log 5 times 20 over log 5. Then, this also follows the log logarithm. When we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, what we have becomes x equals to 1 plus log 5 plus log 20 over log 5. That is, here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 5 plus log 20 over log 5. As this here, log 5 cancel each other. We have 1 left here. All we have becomes x equals to 1 plus 1 as 2 then plus log 20 over log 5. Then next step here also, we can express 20 as 5 times 4. Then all we have becomes x equals to 2 plus log 5 times 4 over log 5. This also follows the law of logarithm. We have x equals to 2 plus log 5 plus log 4 over log 5. As this, we separate this into two fractions as well. We have x equals to 2 plus log 5 over log 5 plus log 4 over log 5. Then here, log 5 comes with each other, one left here. Then also we have x equals to 2 plus 1, that's 3, then plus log 4 over log 5 then here 
you can express 4 as 2 times 2, which is 2 squared. And what we have becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 squared over log 5. Then, next step here, we apply the power of log ring. Now, this 2 comes here, and we have x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 over log 5. That is, here we apply change of this. When we have log a over log b, it's same thing as log a to base b. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Then the value of x here we have x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Then what we have here becomes 5 raised to power 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Is it equals to 500 on this side? That is, we can apply the law of indices when we have a raised to power m plus n. It's same thing as a raised to power m and a raised to power n. That is, here we have 5 raised to power 3 times 5 raised to power 2 log 2 base 5. Is it equals to 500 on this side? 5 raised to the power 3, 5 multiply itself 3 times as 125. 10 times here we reverse this 2 up on power log. At this we have 5 raised to the power log 2 square and that's 4 this 5. This is equals to 500 on this side. That is here we have 125 times. This follows when we have a raised to the power log b. To base a, which is equals to b, that is a is same thing as four. This is equals to five hundred on this side. And one twenty-five times four that gives us five hundred, which is equals to five hundred. Yeah, that is left hand side is equals to the right hand side, and therefore we conclude here. That's x equals to 3 plus 2 log 2 base 5. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. And turn the notification bell. Share this video with a thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class. And bye for now.